How to create an authority website in Entresop. Watch this video till the end to find out more. Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can create your own authority website within Entresop. So just a little bit of background, what is authority website? So authority website, the way that I like to describe it is more like a, your online business card. Specifically, this is very helpful and useful for people that are just starting online and they don't have an established website and they just want to build something super quick so they have their online presence. So what you can do is actually Entresoft makes it super easy for you. So here, as you can see, I'm in my Entresoft in the new uh, layout. There are a couple of options. The first option is if you go to your admin panel and once it loads, we have template center. So if you go to the template center and you've already done uh, your 14 days trial, you will have all of these amazing templates that we have. So as you can see, there are a bunch of uh, authority website template that you can use at the moment. So let's say you can go ahead and say, okay, I want this one. You click on select and once it's selected, as you can see, it turns, uh, it has kind of a layout, green layer around it. Then you need to scroll all the way down and in here you need to click on import templates. It takes a couple of seconds for it to get imported and once it imports, you can see that it says templates imported successfully. Now, where that is imported is inside your left sidebar. If you go to the site, and then if you on the top, you click on your website, you will see that this is what has been imported a few seconds ago. If you just click on it, and let's just have a look and see what we have in here. So as you can see, it's a typical uh, authority website with a home page and a privacy so uh, you can actually go ahead and look at it so if i launch this one so you can actually launch this website by clicking on this icon it launches in a preview version as you can see the url in here is app.entresoft.com so it's just basically a preview as you can see it's pretty nice layout you can have your logo in here it gives you the options for your services about me portfolio and then you have the a typical contact me which you can actually hook it up to a, a form so people can get in touch with you and you can uh, actually set up a call something with them so as you can see a little bit of description in here again we have the button and we talk about the services that you provide in your business if you uh, a digital agency owner you can talk about what your agency provides if you're an affiliate marketer you can talk about how it can help uh, people to become an affiliate marketer then you have a story about me section that basically can talk about yourself. You can put the your image in here. Then you can show some of your previous portfolio work in here. If you don't have any of these, don't worry. You can basically it's it's super simple uh, to modify these stages. I'm gonna this actually say every single sections. I'm gonna go into more detail in just a sec. So some of the achievement, get in touch again. You can have your address, your phone number and your email so basically people can simply just click on it or call you click on it get a location click on it and also send you an email and then you can also have all of your other social digital real estate hooked up in here and if you don't know what the digital real estate is i've done a video on it then the link is should be on the top of this video so you can have a look at that as well now this is uh your actual home page and also if we go to the uh, privacy and policy it's it's pretty uh, typical privacy and policy this is super helpful specifically if you are doing an affiliate marketing and you want to do advertisement for example on Facebook Google or Bing uh, you should have a privacy and policy and basically when, when you do your advertisement and sending people to a landing page you need to provide a privacy and policy so this is can this can be your privacy and policy and you can basically put that link on your advertisement it's pretty simple you can find you can get it for free from uh, free privacy and policy.com or termsfree.com you can go into either of these websites and fill up some information and it basically gives you the privacy and policy boilerplate that you can copy and paste and put it inside your entresoft all right, now let's dig in and see how we can actually uh, 
play around with some of this. So in order to edit any of these pages, uh, you just need to click on this uh, orange pencil icon, edit page. So you click on that. You had a couple of sec to load. Here we go. It is all loaded in here, as you can see. One thing that I want to mention before getting deep is uh, to kind of have a look at these colors. So as you can see, this border is orange. Then we have this other border that is kind of purple. And then, for example, we have this border, which is green. And we have this border, which is blue. So why I want you to know these elements is because we have actually three elements actually four elements that makes every single section inside of this website. So first of all, anything that you want to add, we need to create a section and section is this green border. So everything inside this green border is within this section. Then inside the section, the section consists of rows. So you're going to tell the system once you create your section, how many rows that section is going to have. For example, this is specific section only have one row and then inside that row we need to tell the system okay how the layout of, of that row it's going to look like in this scenario we have two columns left and right this is one column and this is the second column and you can adjust them by simply dragging this side and then basically once you have your column then you can add an element so for example this section doesn't have any element but as you can see this section have bunch of elements as you can see bunch of text elements and also a button now I'm going to show you how you can actually do this from scratch so let's scroll all the way down you see all the way at the bottom we get kind of a green plus which means that okay would you like to add a new section I was like yeah just click on it it shows you a bunch of options so it says what type of section you want to add full width wide medium or small because all of these are full width we go ahead and say okay i want a full width now the section is added as you can see the next step is if you hover it says add a row now i click on add a row and say okay what type of row would you like would you like one column two columns three columns five columns six columns or whatever don't worry if you choose like one column and then you decide to like okay i actually wanted two columns it's not that hard once you uh kind of have an understanding of how to play with this so in this case let's go ahead with one column so I've just added one column and let's go ahead and add a text so click on add element and I click on headline there we go now we basically create our own section now you kind of in the middle of something and just decided oh, I actually want to have this text and I want to have an image in here as you can see it's a little bit hard to do it right now because you only have one column the easiest way and the trick to do this is you see you have a bunch of icons in here and you have kind of bunch of icons in here as well so this is trash and this one is clone so it basically if you click on that it will duplicate this column and what you will get you will basically get a row with two columns left and right and if you keep doing this you will basically start adding more columns to your row now you can actually trash this element and what you can do, you can add a photo if you like to, or let's say add a button. So now you have the left and right. So this is kind of like a basics of how you can actually add elements, rows, section, and different things. Now the other thing that I would like you to know is how to modify this. Okay, let's for example say that you want this button to have a different, so a different background color. So first thing first, Every single one of these elements, if you want to get to the settings of them, you kind of click on them and on the left side, but as you can see, this is all the settings for that element. So if I click on the button, as you can see, it says button settings. If I click on this, it says the heading settings and so on and so forth. So for example, let's click on the button. As you can see, you can change the element name, you can change the color, so I can change it to red can change the letter spacing, text shadow. Then we have the font size. This is only the mobile font size and this is the desktop font size. So what it means is if I increase this, you don't see, you, you can see that there's nothing is changing because it's only mobile related. And right now I am in a desktop preview. This is mobile preview. This is desktop preview. We'll get to the mobile preview a little bit later. So the mobile font size doesn't do anything, but if I change this, as you can see, it makes it bigger. 
And as you can see, as I make this guy bigger, this kind of moves as well. You might ask why? Because both of those columns are within the same row. So the spacing, it's going to affect them. When you make this guy bigger because it wants to center everything within the middle of this row, it's going to add some padding to the top and bottom of this column. So you need to uh, consider that as well. You kind of have subtext if you want to. So some of sometimes you see like you have the main title in here and then you have like a small subtitle in here. This is the font. You can also add a uh, icon to the text as well. So for example, we can put, let's say, I don't know, like a YouTube icon to the left. You can have another icon to the right. So there are like different types of icon that you can do. Button alignment. Then we have the color options. These are the text color options. So I can make the text to be black, for example. As you can see, we don't have any subtitle. So if we go, these are the padding. So this means that how you can actually margin. So if I, if I want to bring it down, this is how I bring it down. If I want, if there was an element at the bottom, as you can see, it is growing the column while I'm changing the margin the bottom margin of this element it is growing the column and if i add a subtext so this is the subtext as you can see this is where it comes and the color is from here so pretty much most of these elements have these similar settings some of them are like a specific for like for example button you have get different themes that you can change choose from so if i just click on this change themes to that specific themes and then you have some advanced option that talks about the, uh, the width, the effect, if you want to add shadow and all of those other stuff. I'm not going to go into more details about this. I'm probably going to do because if I want to go and describe pretty much everything that you can do inside this editor, it's going to take a while. So I'm probably going to do another video to go into more depth. Now, one another thing that I would like to mention is how does this going to look like inside the mobile? So if I just click on this on top left, it will show us the mobile preview. Now, as you can see, this is currently how it's going to look like. It's, it's a bit different. As you can see, you, don't, you didn't see these elements inside the desktop of, uh, preview. And as you can see, even the photo is different. Now, you might say, okay, how is this even possible? So the trick to this is, so if I click on this image and go to the settings and click on advanced, so you see the visibility, we only have the mobile selected. So it means that this doesn't show up on the desktop. Now, if I click on the desktop and then I go back to desktop preview, you should definitely see this image somewhere showing up. Well, that, that's actually a good thing that it didn't show up. Probably the reason for that is because even the column visibility is only desktop. So if I go to the column and click on advanced, as you can see, the visibility is only for mobile. So if I click on desktop, now let's just make sure that the row that is contained is or the section. It's not only for mobile. So the section is good. Now let's see if we can get the row. I believe the row should be, now I got the row. As you can see, the row is still for the mobile. So if I click on both of them, now if I go back, that should show up somewhere. There you go. Ah, so as you can see, there's a hierarchy. So if you just make this one to be visible inside both of them, desktop and mobile, if the basically the top layer, which is column and the on top of that, the row and the section are not visible for both. You will not get this visibility on desktop. So that's one thing that you want to make sure uh, to check. Now, the last part that I would like to mention, I'm not going to go into more details on how to edit this. The last part that I would like to mention is, as you can see, we put this uh, preview, but this is not actually your website. So I can actually get this live. So let's go back. I'm not going to save anything. So when you exit the editor, one thing that you will see is there is no URL for you to actually give to people and say, hey, this is my website, go and check it out. 
So how you want to get that? If you haven't checked my other videos on to how to set up your domain, there is actually uh, an important one on how to link your domain to Entresoft. So if you have any question about that, make sure that you put it in the comment section. I will actually uh, send that send the link for that video for you. So what's going to happen is once you add your domain and you actually integrate your domain to Entresoft, you can go to your settings in here and you can select domain for your for this specific authority page. So as you can see, I have tons of domain already hooked up to uh, Entresoft. And if I just click on one of them, for example, I don't know, this one, and scroll down and hit save. There we go. Now it is saved. Now we have this thing in here. This means that it actually show us the actual web page. So if I click on this, because this is the first time I've been launching this, it might take a little bit of time, but as you can see, this is now my actual domain. As you can see, it points to one of my subdomains. So it's not uh, Entresoft related, it is actually my domain. So this is how you can actually set it up. I'll make sure that if you, uh, to make another video and show you how you can integrate your domain or subdomains into Entresoft, so stay tuned for that. But other than that, that's for it on how to actually set up an authority template from actually set up your authority website via an authority template. Please do make sure that if you have any question, comment, just write it down in the below in the comment section. And once again, if you want to learn all the technical stuff in regards to online marketing, running an online business, I'm your guy. Make sure that you click on join our membership group or just use the first link in the comment section down below and sign up and I'll get in touch. Once again, please do make sure that you like this video, share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and tap on that bell icon so every time I post a new video you'll get notified. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.